Hey everyone, Kristen Kramer here, your Pink Zebra Independent Consultant from DazzleSense.com. And today is a super exciting day for Junior Zeb and me. We have a big box. We do. And it is, check it out. I had to bring it up here so you can see. It's it a is. blend box. Oh, hey, it's a blend bash. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new Summertime Sweets blend bash. Now this one is an exclusive blend bash that's only available while supplies last. And so, we got on this right away and picked it up so that we could share this with all of our awesome VIPs. So we are going to open it up and take a look at everything that's inside it and smell everything because I'm so super excited to smell everything that is in here. Me too. So Yay. let's take a look. We'll open up this box. Now these blend bashes are kind of awesome. They come all packaged up. Here we have four of our first scents. So we're gonna open up these one at a time. Let's start at the top, shall we? Good idea. Let's do that. Okay, once that first one is out. Okay, first we have banana split cake. Mm. Sounds pretty awesome. Okay. Hey, Mom. Yes, ma'am. It's the same mark that was on like the scent for um, Scent Flirt. Yes, it is the same logo that was on Scent Flirt. By the way, if you haven't seen that, check it out. Yes, check out that video too, because we went through our latest Scent Flirt. And some of the scents that are in this blend bash were in our Scent Flirt. Do you want to read the description? A butter graham, crack, butter graham cracker layered with Cool Whip, banana and pineapple, and topped with pecans, and cherries. Mmm. Yep. Smell it. Mmm. That's so good. Now, all of these recipes were sent in by some of our consultants and customers. So this one, it says, was Sharon Blankenship, who shared this recipe that turned into these sprinkles. What do you think of this? I can smell the banana in it, mm -hmm. but it's not just banana. It is creamy. I can smell the cherry. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good. It is. So it's a good, like, I'm not usually one for banana scents, but I do like this because I like the cherry with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was not sure what to expect from that one, but I like it. Okay, Junior Zeeb is already jumping into the next one. Ooh. What do you have? Butterscotch pie. Okay, let's show it off. Woo! Butterscotch pie. What does it say? Okay. Comforting feelings of freshly baked pie. Crisp cut crust, brown sugar, vanilla, and toasted meringue. Okay. And Let's open it up. Inspired by Debbie. Debbie Rochel? Rochel? I'm not sure. By Debbie. Good job, Debbie. Debbie. We'll see. I'm excited about this one because I love butterscotch. So, oh, Junior Zeb sticking her head in it before I can even get it open. Good heavens. It smells good. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> Thanks, I will, once I get it open. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I like this one. I like, it's, what does it remind me of? I don't know. But it is, it's very sweet and warm and that butterscotch scent. Am I dropping sprinkles? Yes. You're looking at me funny. And it, mmm. I love this one. I do. I could, I could just put this one with everything right now. Okay. I'm just kidding. Slow down. Good heavens. <laughs> Junior Zeb is not taking any of my... Now I'm dropping all kinds of sprinkles. I just want to see them all. Okay. Well, we will. I Hello. promise you. The Hello. next one is Key Lime Cake. Now, oh, I got to tell you I this one. I am a big fan. And ah. I don't know. Sprinkles are dropping. I'm a big fan of key lime pie scents. Now we had one an age ago, like way in my early days as a consultant, and the key lime pie scent was one of my all-time favorites. And I still have some ration in my office because I refuse to use it. Oh, oh you guys. This is my key lime pie scent. Mm, do you want to read it? Okay. I forgot about that. A chilled sugary cake 
fresh key lime and sweet cream cheese frosting by Stephanie Larkin. Mm -hmm. This one, I know that I'm supposed to let other people mix these scents. But are you just going to take it out of the blend yeah, bash? It, it didn't show up, guys. I'm sorry. This one didn't show up. I'm afraid you're not going to be able to mix this one in your in your blending bags. It's somehow disappeared. I don't know what happened. It's gone. Sorry. There is no key lime cake. We're missing it. Oops. But they don't know what was in it, so they don't know what else there would be. I know. It is, it is amazing. It smells like my key lime pie that I always loved. So... It is delicious. It's limey and citrus and creamy and everything that you would imagine from a scent called Key Lime Cake. This looks good. Next we have... Chewy Oatmeal Cookies. Chewy Oatmeal Cookies. I'm going to read this, or I'm going to open it. And, and then, then I'll then read you it. You read it. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Chewy Oatmeal Cookies. I'm going to get some sprinkles off the top because we always end up with sprinkles on the top of the carton. There you go. Read away, my friend. Chunks of oatmeal and brown sugar baked into the perfect cookie. Crunchy edges and a soft middle. Sent in by Jill Mechelke. Um, Mechelke? We are very sorry if we're saying your yeah, name wrong. Yeah, we might be saying some names wrong. But guys, this is wonderful. And again, mm -hmm. we had a scent a while back, a long time back, oatmeal raisin cookies. That was one of my favorites. And this reminds me so much of that. It is warm and yummy. It's got like that mm -hmm. spice to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, this one. Like kind of cinnamon. It is. Yep. There's a little cinnamon to it. It's a little spicy, but warm and just like good baked good scent that would smell amazing in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So that's we round one. Finished. We have finished our first four. Don't worry, we still have four more. We still have four more. Okay, we're gonna go through the next one. I think I know which one this is. It is Pink Lady. Now this is something that I don't know that I ever I've ever heard of as a treat of any kind. So I am really interested to smell this one because I have no idea what to expect. So Junior's Eve, oops, there you go, dropping sprinkles. I'm smelling it. Okay, <laughs> okay Ooh, what is it? It smells good. Fluffy Cool Whip combined with creamy sweet milk, cherries, and pineapple. Inspired by Candace Geyer. All right, this one, yeah, I had no idea so what to expect, good. but it is it is amazing. This if it's... we could decide, probably half of these cartons would be missing. <laughs> yes, but I'm a good person, so I will let you guys all mix up your scents to enjoy them too. But this one is fantastic. It's you can smell all of the fruits in there, the pineapple and the cherry and that creaminess. It's really fruity and sweet and just so good. I'm already starting to come up with some mixes. What are you thinking? What would you mix this one with so far? <laughs> oh goodness, you don't know. Usually you're the first one to come up with mixes. I don't know. Well, I don't get to try them out. Well, we'll try later. Okay, okay so this one is blueberry sorbet. Also, that one reminded me of amaretto cream. Amaretto cream. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. Yep. Oh, yikes. They're breaking um, things. This one. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get those cartons open. Mm -hmm. This one was one of the samples that we got in our latest scent floor. So this one, we know how good it is. Okay, you wanna read it? Blueberry sorbet. Creamy sorbet made with homegrown blueberries, honey, and freshly juiced apples, and topped with a mint leaf. Inspired by, is that, Kirsten? Kirsten. Needham? Needham. Mm -hmm. Needham. Okay. So, this one we already smelled, like we but said. But it's still pretty good. In our scent floor. And I was pretty excited to get this one, too, because I knew how good it was. And this, it is such a wonderful blueberry scent. Mm -hmm. And if you love blueberries and blueberry scents, 
This is a good, pure blueberry scent. It's sweet, but it isn't, it isn't the kind of like baked good scent. Like I love our blueberry waffles, but that one has more of a warm sweetness to it. This one is fruity. It is a sorbet. It's fruity, 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 and it is good. You're ready to pick yes. up the next one. I am New Year's Eve is chomping at the bit. Okay, what you got next? Oh, we have, we got this one. Mm -hmm. Fun Betty cake batter. Fun it Betty delicious. cake batter. Yep, this was. I didn't eat it though. No, you threatened to, but you did not. This was, seriously, oh, <laughs> another one that we got in our scent flirt this month. And so we already know that this one is incredible. Okay, read away, Junior Zeeb. Sorry. Dip your favorite vanilla cookie into sweet, creamy vanilla cake batter topped with sprinkles. Inspired by Kaylee Spade? Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm. This one is just the standard cake batter scent. We used to have a cake batter, but I think I like this one even better. I think this is a sweet, it's sweet and warm. And it does, it smells like, like a yellow cake batter to me. And with sprinkles, because <laughs> sprinkles make everything better. Yes. Whether they're the kind you put on a cake or the kind you put in your warmer. <laughs> okay, now we have our last one, which is... Coconut Pineapple Delight Cake. That is a mouthful. Yeah. Coconut Pineapple Delight Cake. Let's check this one out. Let's dig in. I do love pineapples and cakes and coconut. Like, this sounds amazing. Okay, here you go. Yellow cake layered with vanilla pudding, raw coconut flakes and fresh pineapple slices, and topped with Cool Whip and crushed pecans. Inspired by Angela Portion. Okay, Angela. Angela. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, what do you think? What do you think of this one? Mm -hmm. I can really smell the pineapple. Mm hmm. Yep, the pineapple really comes through. The coconut really comes through for me, too. Can you smell the coconut in there? Mm hmm. So, it's basically like a pina colada cake. I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't Not think really. so. It's pina colada and like a little bit of cake. And seriously, guys, I could open all of these up again and just sit around all afternoon and smell them. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. I totally could. These are all so good. And I have to tell you right now, I hope that all of these come back in the catalog yes. so everybody can order them because, wow, these are amazing scents. And Kudos to all of the people who submitted these recipes because these are all amazing. And one of the interesting things that we have in here is, this doesn't normally come in a blend batch, but it does in this one. This one is a recipe book. So we have a whole recipe book that suggests all different kinds of mixes for these. So we have a little bit about each, each scent and a few mixes, so why don't you pick some out? Why don't you pick out some good mixes to do? Hmm. They're all with things from this blend bash and things from our normal catalog as well. So we have all kinds of different mixes. What sounds good to you? Sugar Buzz and Fun Fetty Cake Batter. Ooh, Sugar Buzz and Fun Fetty Cake Batter. That one is called Sugar Overload. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> How about banana nut muffin, cherry licious, and butterscotch pie? Ooh, that sounds good. Now you could. I was also thinking that coffee cake crunch sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's vanilla and Irish coffee and butterscotch pie. And how about some of my scents that I really love? How about mm, fire in the keys? That one is Key Lime Cake with Fireside Vanilla and Cozy Blanket. Mm. That sounds wonderful because yeah. I love Fireside Vanilla and I love Cozy Blanket. We have a whole bunch of different recipes in here. If only it said how to make them. Well, you know what? I actually have all the recipes of how to make all of these treats. So, 
I will be sharing some of those as well because, I mean, who wouldn't want to eat some of these things? See, Junior's Eve always tells me when she smells these things that she wants to eat them, so now we can. Yay! Now we can mix them up ourselves too and try them. But the cool thing about a blend bash is that it's not just the scents that come in it. So we've got a few other things to check out, like Some. this thing that we are going to be raffling off to one of the people who is taking part in this blend bash. So one of the people who is mixing up scents during this blend bash. You don't seem to be able to get it open. No, I just cut my nails, guys. <laughs> is... Check this out. Isn't this a cute reed diffuser? Yeah. So cute. I love the lemons in here. It's just perfect for summer. And like the bluish green color too. It's like a, you know, like a dark, almost a navy blue, dark midnight blue, I guess we call it. So. It looks like midnight water except in color. Midnight water is good. I see that. So we've got that and we've got some soaks. Go with it. And these are so blueberry sorbet soaps. I can already smell them. Yum. I think blueberry and lemon actually would be really good. Ooh, so yeah. put your blueberry sorbet soaps in your lemon um, diffuser and then maybe mix up some lemon soaks with it too. That would be cool. And we have one more little treat in our blend bash. And this is something that you also that you can order right now. You can actually order the reed diffuser while supplies last. And we have Ooh, it's a lemon one. This super cute simmer pot. Can you hold the dish for me, please? Here it is. It says Squeeze the day. Okay, not ahead. No. <laughs> it says squeeze the day. Again, it's another super cute lemon simmer pot. And again, you can get this one currently. It's available in a set. It's a special bundle that you can get on the site while supplies last. So we have gone through all of these amazing scents and we will be mixing them up. Usually with a blend bash, we get everybody together on a certain day and people show up and other people join in virtually and I send them out. But this time we're just going all over the place because it's April and some people are on spring break and some people are gone and we couldn't seem to get everybody together. So this one's gonna be fun. We're gonna mix some up here and send some out. We're going to meet up with a couple of people. We are just gonna do whatever. <laughs> so we do have a couple of spots left. If you're interested in mixing up these scents, let me know. There are still a couple spots and you'll still get in, 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 entered, entered, entered to win the reed diffuser as well. So let me know, get in touch. And like I said, hopefully these scents will be back because they're amazing. So what do you think about the scents in here? Which ones do you think sound the best? Which ones would you mix up? Cause we're gonna need some help coming up with some recipes for our blending. So let us know, put that in the comments and we will mix up some scents and try them out because we're pretty excited. So yes, if you wanna mix up any of these scents except the key lime cake, which did not show up, you let me know and we'll start mixing. And as always, you can find a bunch of these scents, although these are exclusive, on my website at dazzlescents.com. And we are having so much fun this spring in my Sprinkles community. So be sure to join us there. That's, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe while you're here so you will not miss out on any of our fun because Junior Zeeb and I have a lot of fun and you don't want to miss out on any of it. So be sure to join my Sprinkles community also. That's at facebook.com slash groups slash Sprinkles by Kristen. And we will see you there. And now we're going to go back and smell all these again because they're amazing. Yes. And we'll talk to you later. See you guys.